just my family. But I told you, Mom, when I call you, I say help. Mommy. I, I, I love you too, baby. Alright. Go ahead, get in the bed, baby. We got the lights on now. So he can't do that again. So TikTok uh, deleted my goddamn video. Don't nobody want to keep recording what just happened. So, of course, this is my bed. This is her bed. She's across from me. Wow. Meanwhile, I'm telling her to go to sleep constantly. I'm like, bro, it's like four or something in the morning. Go to sleep. And she's like very... Like, no, mom, I'm not going to sleep. Wait, There's literally something touching me and weirding me out. So, I'm not listening to her. Me, band 33, 33 weeks pregnant. I'm irritated at this point. So, basically, I'm telling her constantly, it's, it's nothing in here. Go to bed. Meanwhile, I'm lying because there's something grabbing my scratching me and grabbing at the same time i'm just like oh well you ain't strong enough to grab me like i'm trust me i've been mess haunted since i was six years old so i'm just like eh, you ain't strong enough to bother me boy but meanwhile she's over here getting dragged up the wall i can hear her being dragged up the wall but i'm like what is she doing over there like bro go to bed i keep telling her that it's not funny but i keep telling her bro go to bed it's four something in the morning i gotta I'm tired, like I'm exhausted. Ma, why? She calls them black squiggles. And she was just like, mommy, mommy. And I'm just like, bro, I'm literally saying that for like two minutes straight. Why I turn around, she's been dragged up the wall by her feet. Literally been dragged. And even while I was walking towards her, she was still going upwards. So it pissed me off. I'm a little bit stressed out. Now we gotta sleep with the freaking I lights on. Rock through for my face. So I'm trying to drag out the wall. That's why the grass wibbles coming on my back. It's fine. That's okay. He's not gonna be able to do that no more. We're just gonna sleep with the lights from now on. You're not strong to do that. You can't be not doing that. The iPad was dragged out the monster. But I think it just gets exactly. I'm going to make a part two because I accidentally did what no parent should do. So part two coming up right now. So this will be a part two. Just I, I really want to make sure people understand. Please don't ignore your child. I did it as an experiment. I literally was just like, okay, maybe if I show her that, you know, if you don't be scared of it, it'll leave you alone. Don't do that. Like, don't do that. I, I I feel like a terrible person. But when I was six years old, I was always left alone. My mother was a horrible mother. That's the reason why she's spoiled, okay? She has everything. She owns the own, She owns the house, basically. Because in my childhood, literally, I didn't have no support. I had to suffer with demons alone. No matter how spiritual you are, I don't care what you tell me. I pray, but it seems like my prayers aren't working. So I'm like, my faith, it be slipping away sometimes. I'm like, look, man, I ain't got time for this. Because how does this keep happening to me? Everything bad has been happening to me since I was six years old. Okay, Everything bad, anything you can imagine has happened to me. I've been kidnapped, raped, everything. So I don't have a positive mindset, and I hate positive. I don't, I don't necessarily hate positive people, but they be saying stuff. And I'm like, look, face the reality. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Anyways, so I, I, I just like, I believe in reality over positivity. Oops, that's not good. Stop messing with my camera. Sometimes when I'm trying to use my flashlight, it doesn't work. And I end up cursing it out. I'm like, get off my damn flashlight. I need my flashlight so I can see. That's why we got the lights on. But I'm used to it. She's not, and she's my baby. And I was supposed to protect her. But I was just like, maybe if I try to show her that if you not be scared, don't be scared of it. Me, six years old, I was screaming at it like, what? What is this? It's breathing on me. It's, it's doing stuff. And 
possessing people. Now it's messing with my kids. So it's just like, that's not good. That's not good. This is a part two, but like story time. Yeah, it's been happening to me since I was six. She's only four and she's very spiritual. She's the one that told me I was pregnant. She sees things before I can even see them. So I can't lie to her like I would like to. Oh, that doesn't exist. No, it exists. And I have to, now she knows they exist, and it's physically touching her. It physically touched me, too, but it's like I'm used to it. It'll touch my hair. It'll pull my dreads. I have dreads. It'll pull my feet. It'll do stuff to me, but I'm just like, I'm an adult. You can't do nothing to me. Like, I've had everything done. What more are you going to do? But as for her, she's a baby, and I'm pissed off that it did that to her. Really pissed. I'm going to show you... Um, I, I don't know. If you want a part three, 